Suppose that the probability that a passenger will miss a flight is 0.0953, so about 9.5% of the time someone misses their flight. So airlines do not like flights with empty seats, obviously because they won't make as much money, but an overbooked flight is a problem too because then you'd have to bump some passengers. So this question is going to examine the idea of, well, for a 52 passenger flight, since some people are going to miss, you can overbook it and it might not be an issue, but we need to figure out the percentages that are associated with this. So let's look at part A. Again, we're assuming that there's an airplane that has a capacity of 52 passengers and part A is asking if 54 tickets are sold, what is the probability that 53 or 54 people show up? And that would of course be a problem because it would result in an overbooked flight. So to answer this, I'm going to go to question help and open up stat crunch. All right, so I'll bring this down here. Um, just as a reference, I'm going to enter in this probability in place of this spot. So that's 0 0.0953. And that's the probability that somebody will miss a flight. And directly below that, I'm going to put in the probability that somebody makes it to a flight, which is going to be 1 minus the number that appears here. So in this spot, I'm just going to my calculator. I'm typing 1, and I'm going to subtract 0 0.0953, and my result is 0 0.9047. So that's the, prob the probability that somebody actually shows up for the flight, which is much greater than this. And the two add to 1, or 100%. Anyways, to access the binomial calculator, I'm going to go to Stat, select Calculators, and then choose Binomial. Okay, Part A, uh, a is again asking for, for 54 tickets sold, what is the probability that 53 or 54 people show up? Since we're talking about people who show up, I want to put my probability as this value. So I'm going to put in 0 0.9047. That's the likelihood that somebody actually shows up for a given flight. And the number n is going to be the total number of tickets sold, which is 54. And we want to know, well, what is the probability that you have 53 or 54? To figure that out, I can put 53 here and select greater than. So that means we're going to get the probability for 53 and add it to the probability of 54, and we get this value right here. Okay, I have to round this to four decimal places. That gives me 0 0.0299, uh, but if that nine gets rounded up, this is really going to be 0 0.0300. So I'll put that here. So this is the probability that they'll have an overbooked flight because 53 or 54 passengers arrived. Um, so that's an unlikely event because that's really 3% and that's a pretty small risk. So the airline might say, well, hey, let's go ahead and sell 54 tickets because it is unlikely that 53 or 54 people will show up and therefore maybe their flight won't, be, uh, won't have any empty seats. But then it's like, well, wait a second, maybe we could go a little bit higher. Maybe we could go up to 58 tickets for this flight. Maybe that won't increase this uh, probability very much. We can also just go back to StatCrunch to answer this question. I'm not going to change this probability because we're talking about the number of people who show up. But I am going to change this 54 to 58 because that's the number of tickets that are sold. So the probability that somebody is going to be bumped is going to be, well, since it's a 52 passenger plane, we're going to go from 53 up to 58. So all I have to do now is click compute. Okay, and the value I get this time is, if I round to four decimal places, 0.5197. All right, 
so I'll check my answer. All right, well, okay, that's you know greater than 50%, so it seems like that's a bad idea. Perhaps selling 58 tickets for this flight would you know likely result in an overbooked flight and that would cause issues. So you know selling 54 tickets might be a risk worth taking. Bumping that up to 58, I would say is not. This is too great of a percentage. So going further, the last part is now, okay, it's changing the capacity of the airplane. So this one says, for a plane with a seating capacity of 270 passengers, what is the largest number of tickets that can be sold so that we keep the probability of somebody being bumped below 1%? So I think we can answer this by using the same calculator in StatCrunch as well. We just want to make sure we're entering in the appropriate values. So for starters, since the plane has a capacity of 270 passengers, um, you're going to start bumping somebody once you hit 271. So that's the number I'm going to put right here. It's going to be one more than 270. Um, I'm not going to change this percentage because we're talking about people who show up. But what we want to figure out is the number that I would put here, the number of tickets that we can sell so that the corresponding percentage, the probability, is going to be less than 1%. So I'm just going to kind of guess and check by typing in numbers for N. So like, for example, um, I don't know, maybe the airline's like, I'll sell, maybe I'll sell 278 tickets. Uh, maybe that won't cause an issue. So I just, you know, made that number up. I just picked something that was a little bit greater than 271. Okay, so for a plane that has a capacity of 270 passengers, the likelihood that it would be overbooked if we sold this many tickets is going to be, well, that is well below 1%. This is an extremely unlikely event. You know, if you move the decimal point two places, this is so far below 1% that, yeah, I don't see any problem with selling 278 tickets. The flight will most likely not be overbooked because some people are not going to show up. Um, so we can, like, keep going. I can keep increasing this number, but I just want to make sure that the value here never goes past 1%. So again, just sort of a guess and check type of thing. I don't know, maybe I'll say 200, maybe selling 285 would be okay. And yeah, that's actually okay too. If you look at it, if you move the decimal two places, you're still less than 1%. There would have to be a one sitting in the second uh, location. Um, so maybe I'll try I don't know, 290? Let's see what happens there. Okay, that's too many. When I chose selling 290 tickets, now we're, you know, like at 4.6%, so that's too far. So maybe I'll do 87. Just trying, trying to narrow in on the answer. Okay, 287 tickets actually put me over 1%, so maybe I'll try uh, 286. Okay. For this number of tickets, that's the first time that we are below 1%. If I add one more, it goes above. So it's got to be that the number of tickets is 286. Check that. All right. And that is it for this question.